Yo, 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 what is up, fam? It's your dude, fan of here. Welcome to another video. Another reaction video. Today, we're going to be watching. Why it's more expensive to be full poor, guys. So, uh, this one's kind of going viral with uh, 1.8 million views in four years. Not the best amount of views, but not the worst. So, we're going we're gonna to react to this, guys. And uh, we'll see how it is. Let's check it out are not super wealthy, but we all have an idea of what it might be like to be a wealthy person. We watch them on TV. I know, right, bro? Keep seeing about other wealthy YouTubers, bro. And I get sad, bro. It needs to be me. It needs to be me. We're gonna try to make it us. We're gonna try, try to make it me. We're gonna try to make it me. TV. We follow them on Instagram. We read their blogs and honor biographies. Unfortunately, that... I don't be doing all, none of that, but I be trying to just, you know, do what they're doing, man. Flight reacts 4 mil subscribers on two channels. Doing mainly reactions, guys. I'm Dante. Um, a couple channels with a very successful on both channels. That awareness of how the other half lives doesn't happen much in the other direction. Though many of us have probably described ourselves as broke or poor at one point or another, very few have an understanding of what real poverty feels like. And it's not true, true. <clears throat> but uh, I also have been at kind of poverty because I've been homeless for a year. So I do know, I do know, guys. And I do know what it's like. Like a, a year is a long time to be homeless and learn how to be homeless guys like it wasn't fun for like a whole year of being homeless guys like well, that's a year out of my life i won't get back man not just a matter of having less money i can make another video on it late uh explaining like how it was i can write a book on it man it was terrible once you get below a certain threshold, <clears throat> a whole new set of rules apply that actually make day-to-day -day life more expensive. What? If you've never struggled with real po- Hey, all the, all the more reason why we are going to be try to be rich, because apparently it's more expensive, but how, how is it more expensive to be poor if... If uh, you don't have that money, much money compared to somebody that's rich, like, I think it's more expensive to be rich in my opinion guys because you're just you just have more money to spend poverty you might not be aware of the many hidden costs and financial traps that conspire to keep poor people poor oh never heard of this but I, I do like the intro it's very hard to make your way through modern life without access to basic financial services like checking accounts, ATMs, and personal checks. Yeah, know about that. But the less money you have, the more these things will cost you. That's because banks make their profits by accruing interest on your money. So if your account balance is too low, usually under $1,500, they won't consider you a profitable client anymore. And they'll make you pay for their basic services in the form of a monthly fee. And heaven help you if you go below zero. Bro. That monthly fee was so much, like $10 a month. Each overdraft incurs a charge of about $35 and many banks will deliberately reorder your transactions for the day from biggest to smallest to drive you into the red more. Bro, I remember paying like so many overdraft fees and trying to get them reversed and everything, man. Oh gosh, that was such a pain. Quickly and rack up as many overdraft fees as possible. Thank you, my head. If a bank is willing to extend you credit at all, the terms will be much less favorable than for someone with a rosier financial history. You'll pay more money and interest every month, and any late payments means Okay, now I'm seeing why. More penalties and fees. The, 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 the gist of it is, is still you're going to have more money when you're rich, so you're going to be paying more. Even cash can be more but it's more down bad when you're poor. Because <laughs> I'm poor, I'm pretty down bad, but I'm not that down bad thanks to streaming. Expensive if you don't have much of it. If you withdraw $100 from an out-of-network ATM, that $3 fee equates to a 3% service charge. But if you can only afford to take out 20 bucks at a time, you're essentially paying a 15% charge to access your own money. 
Bro. Taken together. ATM fees suck, bro. This means that a poor person might end up paying hundreds or thousands of dollars a year. With Cash App, you don't even gotta pay that much fee. For services that wealthier people virtually still gotta pay a fee though. Really enjoy for free. It's no wonder then that a lot. Like imagine how much they're making on just fees. Like so much, bro. So much of the it's just it's just a living from it, bro. Well, we, we gotta work. We gotta work so hard nowadays. A lot of low-income people avoid banks altogether. But even that comes at a steep price. Cashing a paycheck without a bank account costs money. Buying a money order to pay your electric bill costs money. And if that bill is due in just a couple days, well, you can either get hit with a late fee or FedEx it. An extra expense that someone with a debit card Man, they just be eating the money, it seems. And an internet connection never has to worry about. If you think that dealing with credit card debt is bad, thank your lucky stars you've never dealt with a payday or car title lender. These businesses are often the only recourse for people without credit cards, and their interest rates reach upwards of 800% annually. Not only it's all bad. does it cost more to borrow and spend money, but what you spend it on is often more expensive. If you have to feed a family on a tight budget, buying in bulk at a supermarket is usually the best option, but not one available to many poor people. Even if they have- Yeah, me going there like every freaking day, bro, because I gotta buy food. Man, I, I spent most of my 20s poor. Had the cash on hand to buy weeks worth of food in one trip. How is someone who depends on public transportation supposed to get it home? On their lap in the bus? Big food retailers, ones with enough purchasing power to offer low- That was all bad, man. I, prices are- I, I had to walk there and walk back. Notorious for avoiding poor neighborhoods. And people who live in these so-called food deserts often lack the mobility to cruise around town bargain hunting. Instead, they're stuck with local convenience and corner stores whose prices are much higher. Sag, bro. Sag. Or they rely on- At least when you're- At least I still get food stamps, so... That's one- What's one advantage to being poor, guys? And fast food, which can seem cheap in comparison, but is actually- Not, nah, man. Actually more expensive than cooking at home. Fast food's a luxury, guys. I, I consider it more- Usually better tasting, but not always. Oh, to say nothing of the long-term health risks. Rent can also be more expensive. Most landlords require a security deposit between $500 and $1,000 to move in. And Dang. An impossible sum for people barely scraping. And that's how much I made in six months, guys, of streaming. Buy. And in that case, your only option, other than homelessness, might be a low-end extended stay motel, which typically don't require deposits, but cost way more than an apartment in the long run. 12k a year, bro. Wow. And they often lack amenities like kitchen appliances and laundry that save apartment dwellers time and money. They say time. Oh, snap. That light just. This the shady hotel, guys. <laughs> is money. And the less money you have, the more time you have to spend on everyday tasks. Waiting at the bus stop, waiting at the laundromat, waiting at overcrowded clinics and public offices. This leaves much less free time to take care of one's family, pick up extra work, or strategize a way out of poverty. It gets worse. Inflation, the general increase in prices, tends to hit things like food, gas, and rent the hardest. The lower your income, the greater percentage of it goes to- Bro, this, this video is making me kind of depressed. These costs, so a poor person will see their year-over-year -year expenses go up at a higher rate than a wealthy person. All these pressures take a toll on one's psyche that only makes things worse. Imagine having to constantly make tough decisions about where to spend your last few dollars. Pay the water bill or buy food for dinner. Put gas in the car or see the doctor. This relentless- Bro, money it sucks having to deal with this kind of stuff, man. Hopefully we can abolish, you know, even needing this stuff in the future. And having to worry about it, that'd be pretty cool, right? Burning of mental energy leads to a deterioration in the quality of one's judgment, a phenomenon psychologists call decision fatigue. It's why someone might visit a payday lender when they know it's a bad idea. They're so exhausted that they'll settle for a quick fix, even if it will lead to more problems down the road. Closely related to decision fatigue is the scarcity trap, which is our tendency to fixate on the resources that we have the least of, to the point that we lose sight of the big picture. Running low on diapers, for instance, can create a feeling of panic that compels a poor mother to buy six months worth of huggies, only to realize afterwards that she didn't set a I have a sense, I've been waking up with a sense of panic every day because I, 
my main channel is banned, guys. I had enough money for rent. Some might think that poor people just need to work hard. And that was my only source of income, basically. Harder and... Except with Twitch, we got 12 Twitch subs, but... This channel that I'm posting on is not monetized, guys. Spend smarter. While it's true that improving your financial situation requires these things, it also requires having at least a little bit of extra cash to move around and access to decent spending options. If you can't choose where you shop, where you live, or where you bank, you become a captive customer to predatory businesses. If you don't have any extra money to save or invest or budget, you can't make a financial plan. And when are you supposed to think about tomorrow when you're constantly putting out today's fires? Next time you describe yourself as broke, remember that having just a little bit of wiggle room is infinitely better than having true bro none at all it can make all the difference if you're trying to when i if i start getting money i gotta start shopping right now my oh my dad does my shopping for me so improve your financial situation so shopping does take a, a good amount of time right guys if you do have that wiggle room be thankful and don't waste it and, and that's, that's our two cents. cents well that was the video guys thank you guys for watching very cool video first this showed up on my recommended a bunch and you know it's something that i like watching i, I liked watching guys like uh, there's a channel called two cents so it's like by pbs or something i work as a doctor in a rural health clinic working closely with undeserved population there's such an honest look at the predatory business practices i am truly admire two cents for approaching this topic oh doctor okay well that will be the video guys thank you guys for watching peace out everyone much appreciated, and I'll see you guys uh, next one. Later, guys.